Hi guys, so I'm back again with a new video and today I have these neon hollow geometric nails for you guys and I am combining this design with a review for Born Pretty Store because I just don't have time to make a whole separate review and a whole separate design without filming it. So hope you don't mind. So they reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to choose and try some products from their website and I said yes. And the first thing I saw was that their products were pretty cheap. So I wasn't really sure how good their products were going to be, but it turns out they work pretty well. So I chose a stamper and a stamping plate from their website and I did notice that their stamper and their stamping plate work best as a team. I also tried my other stampers with this plate, but their stamper worked the best. There was only one small problem with this stamper. It's not a clear one and I chose a geometric plate. So no way I'm going to be able to stamp on those images without a clear stamper. So what I did was I used a holder of my own, which is from a clear jelly stamper and I just took the jelly part out. I also took the jelly part out of the Born Pretty Store stamper and I just switched those around and there I had my clear stamper. So hope you don't mind Born Pretty, I'm sorry. And the other thing I noticed is that, well, their stamper is a lot squishier than the one I originally own. So yeah, I like it. Squishy, squishy, squish. Phew, what an intro. So let's jump into the video. Start off with your base coat to protect your nails. And then I applied one coat of my black nail polish as my base color. Well, this is already going really smooth. Cleaning up as always. And then I applied this beautiful, gorgeous holographic top coat on top and looks amazing. And look how bright that looks when I zoom in slash zoom out. I don't know what I'm doing, but it just gets brighter. It's so pretty, so pretty. Okay, let's move on. So then I chose these two neon colors and I'm going to apply these using the dry brush technique, which just includes getting as much polish off of your nail polish brush and then brushing the excess on top of your nail. And just keep adding color wherever you think it's needed. Just start off with a tiny bit of polish because you can always add more. You cannot take the polish away, unfortunately. So once I was happy with the amount of neon on my nail, I went in with my hollow top coat again and applied another layer. Looks pretty much like a hot mess right now. Yeah. I recommend putting something on top of this. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this on its own. Are you? Okay, let's move on to the stamping. So I first applied liquid latex around my cuticle to help me clean up later, but still always messy with me, so whatever. So now for the actual stamping part, I used my black stamping polish, applied it on top of the image, scraped off the excess and then just picked it up with my super creatively made stamper and then I pressed it on to my nail. Easy peasy. And I am super happy that I switched the jelly part so I had a clear stamper to use because this would have been a disaster if I had not done that. So then I separated the stamp from the liquid latex so I could peel it a little bit e easier. And next I'm cleaning up wherever it's needed with a brush and acetone. And of course it's needed with me. Duh. And then mid cleaning I decided to add my glossy top coat. Don't recommend that but okay. And then I went on cleaning up. Don't know why I did that. Don't have an explanation, not one. And then after the cleanup, I was done. So yeah, that's what the finished design looks like. And I quite like it. Yep, do let me know what you think of this design. I'm really curious to know. And for the plate and the stamper, well, they work pretty good. So yeah, they're cheap and it works. So I recommend, that's all I have to say. Let me know what you think of this video. 
and if you liked it you can always give this video a big thumbs up and also if you want to see more of me you can click the red subscribe button thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye